Hi and welcome to my playhouse and the next episode on this disulfating video series. Um, the disulfators has been sitting on the batteries where we left them last week. And as you can probably hear in the background, they're well disulfating happily. At least they're making some noises, which is actually rather irritating to listen to. But well, let's see what the voltage is. It's 12.4 on that one, and 12.4 on this one too. So that's cool. Um, we're gonna disconnect these because we have to charge them a little bit before. So we're just I'm disconnecting that one and I'm disconnecting that one. And down here I have some other batteries that are also on uh, disulfators. And I'm gonna steal the the charging plugs for these. I'm gonna charge these batteries for some amount of time. This one is the one that I shortened the cables on, so I'm gonna make sure to put that on that battery so that I don't forget that I did that on that one. And we're gonna take this one, put that up there, and put the charger on that one as well. And in here, that they're charging happily. The top one is charging with about two amps and the bottom one is charging, what is that? Four to five amps. So that's cool. And then I'm gonna, we're gonna see how these two are doing. They've been on the charger the entire time. So I'm just gonna give them a little bit and then we'll use the battery analyzer and see how they're doing, if they have improved any. I didn't write down the numbers for these two last time, so I think we'll do that and, and that will just be the results after 14 days. Um, but I got a new battery. I visited my mechanic and uh, he had this one standing around and I had the battery analyzer on it. Let's just do that. Minus and plus. And this battery, I think, oh, what is it? I'm gonna take the top one. The label is not very good. We're gonna take the top one as a closed maintenance-free battery. And it's an EN. And this battery is good for about 565 cranking amps. Um, originally, this is a 100 amp hour battery with 900 cranking amps. Just over half of that. Uh, it's, a, it's a bit over half of that one. I'm gonna clean it up and I'm gonna put it on a charger and uh, see if it, it becomes any better of um, having a full charge. Just gonna remove these again. And I have some I have some water and with some soap in it and I'm gonna clean the battery because it's filthy. Well I think that's as clean as it gets for now. Could probably do this once more. The water is pretty dirty now. I'm gonna find somewhere to charge this, and put it on a charger. But right now the other batteries are still charging. Okay, here are the two batteries, and I'm just gonna unplug this diesel. Oh, I have to unplugged. Now we're gonna put the battery analyzer on the batteries and see if they have improved any. Plus, plus and minus and top one. And 
and this battery is at 13.2 volts, 209 cranking amps, and an internal resistance of 11.08. And that has actually improved uh, some since, since we started. Uh, of course, the charge, the, the voltage has improved because it has been charging just a little bit ago. But the cranking amps has gone up uh, to 209, and that's pretty good. The internal resistance is still high, but it has gone down. I'm gonna write on the note the new numbers. Here's the note to go with the battery so that I can remember everything that's two weeks in on this. These was the numbers that was measured. So let's connect to the other one. And here is the note for the other one. And I've measured this as an MF, so that's the second one. And it's still an e EN. And this battery is good for 13.25 volts and originally this was 12.55, 225 cranking amps, that was originally 215 and the internal resistance is 12.03 and that has gone down a little bit, it's not much, it's still some. This battery has improved a little bit by charging for 14 days. I'm gonna update the note. And the note has been updated so that I can remember this. Uh, actually, I don't have to remember this. The batteries has moved over here now and they have they have been off the disulfator for uh, four hours and they have been charging. Or maybe an hour and they have been resting for about two hours so we're gonna check them now with the with the battery analyzer and see how they're doing and let's this is the worst one or it was the worst one at least and this one was mm, wasn't good but it wasn't that bad either let's just see how how it was it was a 12.2 volts, 255 cranking amps, and an internal resistance of 9.03. And last week it was at 13 volts, 255 cranking amps, and 9 milliohms. So let's see if it has improved any. Minus to minus, plus to. Plus. And I'm gonna select the same settings. And right now it's at 12 and a half volts. It's at 275 cranking amps. And the internal resistance is down to 8.48. That's actually bit better it's 20 cranking amps more and the internal resistance has gone down how much is that that's about 0 0.5 milliohms okay I'm gonna up no update the note and the note has been updated uh, last weekend I didn't really wait until the the charging current had went down had gone down enough so I measured this at 13 volts it might have been had something to do with it and also this is the disulfator that I shortened the cables on so this might have been doing good so pretty cool let's go to the next one and this is the worst one it started out at being at 12.5 volts 115 cranking amps, cold cranking amps, and an internal resistance of 19.45 milliohms, which is a lot. And last weekend 
The voltage was a 13.25. The cranking amp had gone up to, two, to 121 amps and the internal resistance has had gone down to 19 milliohms. So let's test it. See where we're at. And it doesn't look good. The voltage is at 12.6, which is a little bit more than we started with. The cranking amps has gone down again to 115 and the internal resistance has gone up to 19.40 so yeah this battery is not doing very well uh, yeah. I have another plan I'm, I think I want to try and put a charge on this so let, let me prepare that okay I have connected the battery to a inverter this is a cheap one it's an modified sine wave inverter of some kind it's it's the kind that is really cheap so I want to stress this battery a little I have a small angle grinder here and it's it says that it uses 700 watts right there so we're gonna connect that to the inverter and we're gonna see if it can power it you're gonna see the voltage up here 12.7 right now so let's see what happens if it's able to run it's able to run it but the voltage is definitely dropping fast I think that was enough stress so what can we do I think we will connect it to a lamp I have a lamp here uh, but this light bulb is like one of the very efficient ones so that would take forever it's like I think it's 14 or 15 watts uh, 14 watts so. no let's go for an only this is a 200 watt lamp Nice and bright. Let's move over here so we can see the multimeter. It's already down. Yeah, it's already complaining. So we are turning it off again. That wasn't long. But let's go for another light bulb. This one was too big. 200 watts here's another light bulb it's bigger but it's using less power this is 100 watts well something funny happened to my little test lamp so I had to find another little test lamp can you see that you can almost see that um, but I've mounted 100 watts uh, light bulb in it and let's turn it on right now the voltage is at 12 and a half volts so turning it on and the voltage is rapidly dropping 11.6 11.5 100 watts being drawn out of the battery now it seems to be able to maintain 100 watts a bit easier than 200 and 700 watts Okay, we just entered down under 10 and a half volts, so in a few seconds the inverter will start to complain about under voltage. It's right there. So we're turning it off again. And I, th I don't think I'm gonna stress this battery more than that. Put it on the charger with a desulfator. I think that's the plan. There's not much power in this battery, that's for sure. And this guy. I charged this battery like oh, I think it was on the charger for an hour and 
and it was also off the charger for I think it's two to three hours now and I just tested it and the voltage has gone up to 12.85 volts the cold cranking amps is now again 565 cold cranking amps when I just took it off the charger I, I measured it and it actually went down um, and the internal resistance has actually it has gone up that's not good it was 4.46 on this one and here is 4.49 it's nothing but still it went up a little bit I think this is okay I think it's a good battery well, that's gonna be the battery disulfating video for this weekend. Um, this Vata battery is definitely doing a lot worse than this Bosch battery over here. The Bosch battery actually looks like it's improving somewhat. Uh, 20 cranking amps more in a week's time isn't that bad. If it keeps improving like that, it, it could be a good battery. I'm not ruling anything out. I'm not. I'm not saying these are working either. I'm just saying that the battery, according to the battery analysis, it has improved a bit. Actually, almost 10%. Uh, I did shorten up the cables on this one, and that might help it. Thank you for watching my videos. Do give it a thumbs up, and do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. Have a really nice day. Bye-bye.